And tonight, but when I was coming into church, I heard the same words. So, no. That there's a David anointing in this house. Hallelujah. That there's an anointing to kill giants. Going to be giants that are going to be that are going to fall in your life. So they know that I did Emma, she did a downy, they know that I did Emma, she did a Chimani, a Yari Alum, I did to pay the chain up your chama. Let's look at the word of God. So no go about over to no chia, first Samuel chapter 17. The Mayas went for the Mazo, a Kanji Sakone, 26 through 30 through 29. Nasa Chogan and Nasa Godi Pibare. It's the story of David. So And first of all, I just want to thank uh, Pastor Sarah for having me come and speak to you. Pray for your pastors. Take care of your pastors. God has blessed you with good leaders. God is going to use those leaders to change your life. It is your responsibility to take care of them. I want to speak into the vision that your pastor has for you here. So in the book of Samuel, we're introduced to David. And there's a correlation between David and you. You and King David are very similar. By you, I mean the Myanmar people. In this country. You see, David was somebody that was overlooked. David was somebody that when it came down to being anointed, he wasn't even considered. They didn't think he was good enough. They didn't think he was smart enough. They didn't think he was able to do anything. They underestimated David. And there are people around you that are underestimating you. But they don't know that God is with you. See, David was doing a job that nobody wanted to do. Like some of you. When Samuel told Jesse, bring me all of your sons. Jesse gathered all of his sons except David. While the party was going on, David was out watching the sheep. A job nobody wanted. A lonely job. 
So I did a look at ballet to the outside lonely at a look at it. A smelly job. So I did a look at a teacher and a look at it. See, sons were not shepherds. So the top shit all the way to a ballon yale. Don't I need a mother. She need a pity. The job of being a shepherd was given to the slaves or the servants. So don't I love my logo. But do be a solution. I'm a team a solution. No, I must see that. I know you're a duty. No, see, I know I can't see logo. But you know, back. I'm not here. David was like many of you. So that way, I thought I would see myself. I'm a shit. I told you. I thought I told you. I'm a sin to get it. Doing jobs nobody wants to do. So the low near the low got it, but do my low chin on the low go go low near the she ain't ain't it. Washing dishes. Oh, but can you see any yali me? Working in the kitchens. Oh no, me will join them. I low near the low di no go a thing show me low at the pi pi me. Cleaning the hotels. So the no hot them I go a thing she low near the to pi pi me. And people would look at the Myanmar people. So the low they got me my low me only go chin there come on it. And other people might look down on you because you serve. Ah, they know that I look down low when I do the best. So be go go nay nay bones and you nay teach all the men. But they don't know you're like David. So the thing I change it go to the name of the Lord. Amen. They may think you're a lowly servant. So the to look about the solution. I think no one nay chat the Lord. Did a second low a chun a second the Lord. Pick the Lord to change the men. Because of what you do for a living. So the oh, the attention more low near the local dealer. But she did not want to throw a thing. Oh, they never bounce on your net. She never. But they don't realize. So they throw a thing near the yard. That God has positioned you. So the people that came out, they go near the Kuma Tabo and do it. I thought low near the so the throw a thing. They would it to kill giants. So the thing go there. No people that came out, she made it to people and do it. People that go near the so the throw a thing. Would it listen to me and listen to me good. So the. You are not what you do for a living. So the thing I go long need it. I yah to be thing I touch him or she need a more put it. What you do at your job does not define you. So the thing long need it. I look at thing thing. Ah, she need a year change. We go pop ya need a look more put it. Just like David. That way get to be anti. That way go be anti. Me so in it. David was anointed king. Yet after he was anointed, so that to be the king can be what he can be. He went back to watching the sheep. To be a bit of a to train and he got to be a to a to be there for years. So that the people may as well to be a bit to train and look to be a low near to me. Even though he had anointing to be king, to be a to go be a king. So to that that he must be a near to be the king. To be a bit to be there. Just like you. There's greatness inside of many of you. So that they know that are there, my lebe. Dig name at who be the chini has she need a pity there. Don't be discouraged by the season you're in. So that they go she need a yow need a chini need a ma. No one wants to make a lie ban there. God has created you for more. So that they know to a payaga a mi a lolo tabe bi bi de. Amen. Many of you have had to leave your country to come here. So that 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 my Colombia, no, 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 no The people that walk this city and walk past you every day. So the new machine that do the thing, shout what I come to any do the along on it. They don't understand the price you're paying. They pay get a poor car go through now. Let my whole day boot it. They don't understand what you're doing. So they load the other load the damn boot it go through now. Let my whole boot it. They may treat you bad. They don't. They don't go there to look at. They may make you feel like you're lesser than them. So the total ten nature that do the only net to do at twenty meeting go. I did not miss such an alert in Kenya. Go Kenya nine net. Do not listen to those lies. So I did not do it. I did not. So the only that I did was not to talk about it. God has sent me here today. But I think you know what? I did not do it. To remind you. Then go be a bit of my daddy as a boy be there. You're more than a dishwasher. They loan it at the bagan sejin it again. You're more than a servant. Thing I loan it at the yard it tamare. You're kings and queens. 
Your giant killers. God has anointed you to slay giants. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in 1 Samuel 17, David is taking lunch out to his brothers on the battlefield. Again, he's serving. That's his job, just to serve. So But while he's serving his elder brothers, and he's bringing them lunch out on the battlefield he begins to hear Goliath talking and Goliath is mocking the people of God he's criticizing them He's calling them weak. He's taunting them. And David hears this voice. And he looks to his brothers. And he says, why isn't anybody fighting this giant. And his brothers and everybody is scared. And they tell David to be quiet. Just keep serving. What do you know about this? And David makes a statement that I want you to hear tonight. He says, Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? You know what that means? I say that another way? Is there not a reason to fight this battle? Uh, Is there not a reason to slay this giant? And the answer was yes. There is a reason. Because this giant is standing against the people of God. And there are giants in this land. And the people cannot slay them. There are principalities in this city and region. That have taunted the church of Jesus Christ for many years. But they need a David to call it down. And church, hear me. This group of people 
You are the David that this region has been waiting for. There are things that you will do in the spirit that no other church has been able to do. There is power coming to this group of people that other other churches have not experienced. There is financial breakthrough that is going to be poured out on your lives. There is going to come opportunity and favor to you. But you have to kill Goliath. You have to face Goliath. And I'm here to tell you, God has anointed you. I've been here three times. And every time I come, I see the anointing of God in your worship. I see you praise unashamed. I hear the sound of heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a David anointing. Amen. Because David knew how to worship. And you know how to worship. Don't ever, don't ever listen when the devil tries to tell you. Shh. Don't ever listen when people try to tell you calm down. They do not understand. This is part of your anointing. This is part of how you will slay giants. Through your praise. Through your worship. Can I get an amen for that? Hallelujah. Amen. Now you must understand something. God brought you to this land. Did you know that? God brought you to Malaysia. Not just so that you can get a good job. Not just so that you can get money to send back and help your family. Not just to give you a better life. He brought you here. To slay a giant. And the giant that you must slay. The reason God has brought us here. Is to build his church. So it's to fulfill the vision of your pastors. Amen. And you must say yes to that vision. 
Amen. You see, the reason that David slew Goliath was so that the people of God could be free. The reason he fought that battle so that the purpose of God can work in the land. So I didn't And the reason that you must fight battles so that is so that God's purpose can be established in this region. Amen. Now let's go over to the New Testament. Matthew chapter 16. Jesus tells us that upon this rock of revelation I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not stand against it. People, God wants you to be blessed. And he's going to bless you. He's going to bless your family. He's going to take care of you. So we must now take care of God's business. When you, when you take care of what is on God's heart, he will take care of what's on your heart. The battle that you must fight is the battle to build the church of Jesus Christ. And to, and to get this message of the gospel to as many Myanmar people as you can. You are God's hands and feet. Satan is afraid of this church. Amen. He's afraid of people that will go to church at midnight. Amen. 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 He's afraid of people that will worship God. Oh, like, like you do. But he's most afraid of people like you going out and telling others about Jesus. So they no get those on Lude, Piamido, my Twabido, my Piamma, the Gona, the Loma Ludi Pitti, and they know a child so much. Amen. When you take up the cause of Jesus Christ, then I credit to it, I will think that's on me at that shame, so in it. And you say, Jesus, then I be on me, yes, you credit all. I will build your church. God will then in return build your life. Amen. You see, there's a lot of people they have it backwards. They come to church to try to get God to take care of their life. God will take care of your life. When you agree 
ဆိုတော့ဘုရားသခင်အလုံးသားထဲမှာသိရှိနေပဲဆိုရင်အဲ့ဒါကဘုရားသခင်အလုံးသားထဲမှာသိရှိနေပဲဆိုရင်အဲ
Because church is not for you to just take. It is a place where you must give. And So many Christians go to church and take. They take from the worship. They take from the word. They just take. God has not called us to just take. He asks that we give and build. Amen. Think about this. In the Bible, the church of Jesus Christ is called the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ. That's what the Bible calls the church. So when we come to church, we better make sure we are taking care of Jesus' bride. You say, how do I do that, Pastor? There's three ways. You give your time. You give your talent. And you give your treasure. Every time you come to church, you give God your time. You know, there are some people that go to church and can't wait to leave. He's taking long today. He should wrap it up. That's not giving God your time. There's some people, they don't serve in any departments. That's not giving God your talent. I want to encourage you. Sign up to help out somewhere. That's giving God your talent. Maybe you could be a greeter. Maybe you could be a greeter. Or an usher. Or help them with the sound. Or watch the babies. But do something. And the last thing is give God your treasure. So number Do not rob from God. Don't rob from God. The Bible teaches us that God provides for you and 
And you get a paycheck. You get a paycheck. So I think that I am a thing of Piaga, no check paid her. But God says 10% Sebodopo is for his church. Sebodopo got a thin on his side. It's not for you. I think Osa got thin on my side. It's for his bride. So I got a ballet, a thin or deal with all you shook her door. The road on his side, not you did it. Come on up here. Hurry up. Come on up. Jump up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. This is Pastor Willard. So Pastor Willow Corre. If I gave Pastor Willard a hundred dollars, so I should know that Pastor Will go and the dollar the payment so in it. And I said, Pastor Willard, Pastor Willard, I'm going away. To know where it was the up in Dwabo she did on a trip. So I should know Kid who to me, but I'm going to give you some money. So I should know the whole which is what big me. So that when I'm away, so that you know, being one day I came up, you can make sure that my wife is taken care of. So that you know, the need they got, no, you say be by me. I'm gonna let you have ninety dollars. So that nine hundred dollars. Uh, ninety dollars. Nine hundred dollars. So that go ya dollar go ya target me. Just make sure you give my wife one hundred dollars. So that. How many know that sounds like a good deal? But I go away. And he does not give it to my wife. He goes and buys new shoes. How am I going to feel? So, also, you know, below comes I'm a teen in it. Now you know how God feels. So, I go to no pure bear, I got the knowledge, and the other king below comes I are less than all. God has blessed you with a job in this country. So, the other king got the gold at Dinanga, my county baby, a little bit hard. He did that. I got a pay up, it's hard up, she didn't own it. He did that. There are people back in Myanmar that are praying to be where you are. But God gave the blessing to you. All he asks is that you take a portion and you make sure that the house of God is taken care of. Your time, your talent, your treasure. When you build God's house, He will build yours. So Pia the King of Thing will be a bit of Stand on your feet. Amen.